Have you seen the new Tom Hanks movie, A Man Called Otto? It's a surprisingly profound movie. It tackles a huge fundamental question. What is our reason for living? That's a whopper of a question that we often kind of avoid. So credit to this movie for tackling that question. And I think they did so wonderfully. Tom Hanks' character, Otto, um, was married to an amazing woman for many years, but she has recently passed away. And he has lost his reason for living. Literally. He attempts suicide three times during the course of this movie. Um, Otto is an intelligent, hard-working person who likes to make himself useful, but he also has a tendency to be rigid and harsh. And his wife had served to soften him. She helped him get along with people so he could be useful and helpful. But without her, he retreated back to the harshness and the rigidness and loneliness, and he was deeply unhappy. But then something interesting happens. He gets some new neighbors, Marisol and her husband Tommy and their two daughters. And this family, in particular Marisol, they just work their way into his life. Uh, they bring him food. They get him to help with handyman jobs. They uh, ask him to babysit. And little by little, as he engages with this family, and then he starts to re-engage with his neighbors, typically in the form of helping them with something, he starts to feel better. And in the climactic scene, he confesses to Marisol that he had been planning to, go to commit suicide. She is floored by that. She was not aware. But he says... He's canceled those plans, and he says, I've got things to do. He uh, discovered his reason for living, and that was to help people. Now, there's also the implication in the movie that this there was a bi-directional nature. His reason for living wasn't just only so he could help and love other people. It was also about him developing the ability to receive love from people. As he went through this process and re-engaged with his neighbors, they started to like him again. And that was part of his getting back to a healthy place. So, we have a movie who says the meaning of life, our reason for living, is to give and receive love from people. Well, I think that's beautiful and true. I would propose that we just add one little twist to that. Um, the one thing that message omits is God. In fact, I don't, I didn't pick up on any references to God whatsoever in this movie. I personally believe God exists. I think God came in human form and. Jesus was asked one time to sum it all up. <laughs> and he said it's actually two things. It is loving your neighbor as yourself, exactly as this movie says. But it's also loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Jesus said our reason for living is loving people and loving God. Now you might say, is, is, is that God part really that critical? Is, can I just love people? Isn't that enough? I would suggest, I would propose considering that maybe God is what ties it all together. Maybe this thing we have inside of all of us, this desire to give and receive love, comes from God. Maybe that's evidence of God. And maybe that's why it's so universal. I think whenever we see two people caring 
about each other, helping each other, we're actually seeing God. God is love. And so when we see portrayals of authentic love, even in a movie, we are actually getting a little glimpse of God. That's what I think. I would love to hear what you think. I would love to get together with you and talk. Um, if you would like to, we could pray together. Or we could just exchange ideas. I would love to hear your thoughts on this huge question. What is our reason for living?